Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can create pictures like this. So the first thing that you guys need to know is that it is not a camera effect. People usually think that it is a panning shot. But believe me, no matter how professional of a photographer you are or how many expensive lenses you are using, you cannot create smooth lines like this inside of your camera. You are going to need Photoshop for this. And don't worry if you haven't used Photoshop in your life ever before, because frankly speaking, this tutorial is very simple and you can do it easily in your first try. So without wasting any time, let's jump into Photoshop and see how it's done. So after opening your image in Photoshop, we are going to first of all unlock this image and then drag and create another layer. Now selecting the bottom layer, I'm going to go into filters, select blur, then motion blur, then make sure you have these values angle at 0 degrees and distance at 2000 pixels. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click on OK. And as you can see, the layer below is now all motion blurred. So what we are going to do next is click on the layer above, create a new mask, select on the mask and then go over here and select the brush tool and then you can just simply right click and drag and adjust the size of the brush. And after selecting the brush, make sure you have selected black over white over here. You can simply switch them by clicking on this. So once you have black in the front, you can just simply paint over the layer and it will reveal the motion blurred image beneath it. So what I'm going to do here is select all the area except the auto rickshaw to give it that effect. You don't have to be very precise over here because we are going to zoom in and get all those edges. So you can freely paint here and leave a little margin so that when we zoom in we can do that. So after zooming in, I am just going to reduce my brush size and then I will just cover the whole area and yep it will take some time. So you guys just sit back and enjoy this beautiful background music. Now once we have done that, I am just going to go ahead and add some adjustment layers to the background. It is more of a personal choice and I just like my images to pop out and be a bit more vibrant. So that's why I am doing it. It is not a compulsory step. You can easily select as many adjustment layers as you want to. And after doing this, we are just going to go ahead and export our image. And here it is. Okay, so this was it for this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Still, if you have any confusion, do leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you are going to try this out, which I recommend you do, do share the results with me on Instagram just by tagging hashtag Raghavira And if you guys genuinely like this video, don't forget to leave your likes, comment on this and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you haven't so that you never miss another video from my side. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.